What is up everyone, Barricade here and bringing you guys a quick Gears of War update video. They actually finally shown the true cover art for Gears of War Bloodlines, a new novel coming out later this year in April. I believe the release date was been stated to be April 21st. And honestly, I'm really excited for this novel. It looks pretty damn cool. Essentially, we get to see a new part of the storyline after Gears 5 and also a little bit of a past storyline about Kate's father, known as Gabe Diaz, that is also going to be in Gears of War Tactics. So we actually get to see a little bit about this new character introduced in the series before the Gears Tactics even is released. So that's awesome. So I'm actually going to read the description here and kind of just go over the story really fast. Looks pretty damn interesting. So to start us off, it says the official tie-in to the exciting video games Gears 5 and Gears Tactics. So it's actually a tie-in between both games, which is really interesting. In the aftermath of Settlement 2's destruction, Kate Diaz reels from the near loss of a close friend amid utter defeat at the hands of the Swarm. To move forward, she must choose either to walk the outsider path of her mother or rise to her beckoning duty as a gear, as her father did. As Kate grapples with her circumstance, an unexpected alley illuminates secrets from the past that offer a new perspective. Over four decades before, the two superpowers of Sarah, the Coalition of Ordered Governments and the Union of Independent Republics, wage a bitter worldwide conflict known as the Pendulum Wars. For nearly a century, the two have fought to wrest control over Sarah's most precious energy source, Emulsion. On the 79th year of the Pendulum Wars, Gabriel Diaz is a decorated lieutenant colonel serving the Coalition. Assigned to Vectis Naval Base, a fortress that seen little action despite its close proximity to UIR territory. The island's relative quiet is disturbed when a COG Special Forces team known as Ghost Squad arrive with a mysterious mission to the nearby island of Knife Spire, an unforgiving rock of seemingly no strategic value. When the ghosts send out a distress call, it's up to Gabe to evacuate them, and what he discovers on Knife Spire could change the very course of the Pendulum Wars. There, the Battle of Gaka Ridge will define Gabe's legacy and shape the future of his daughter, Kate Diaz. So overall right there, all of that sounds really damn interesting, and I want to know what exactly happens in the story, what will happen at Knife Spire, all that, and how it exactly shapes Kate's future. So there's really uh, kind of really vagueness in the description because obviously we got to read the book but I really want to know how it connects with her because his story is so much before hers you know what I mean it's during the pendulum wars and yet Kate's story doesn't really start until you know 25 years later in gears 4 25 years after the locust war so this is even like around 40 or so years after the pendulum war so this is like so much later after what Gabe Diaz does but yet whatever he does in this time and his you know story ends up shaping hers so I really want to see the connection between these two stories and of course guys you already know this I'm gonna be sitting there reading this book and making lore videos about it if you guys want me to do it similar to like I did with the last Gears of War book where I made several videos on every chapter or every other chapter I'm totally ready to do that for you guys because I really loved covering the Gears of War novel that came out before Gears 5 so I'm really can't wait to do this the same as well because Gears Descendants was a great novel and I'm more than sure that Bloodlines will be as well. If you guys like this video, please definitely hit that like button and subscribe and tell me what you guys think about the storyline for Gears Bloodline. Are you going to be purchasing the novel or are you going to just be watching my coverage? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and take it easy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see any of my other content, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching, guys.